The Viking Age ended sometime in the 11th century, and Norway's conversion from Norse paganism to Christianity happened around the year 1000. So we get a bit of an overlap in religions here, which produced a unique and beautiful form of architecture. This is the Ghoul Stave Church built around 1200 AD. It's one of only 30 left in all of Norway. What's a stave church and why does it look so different than other churches built in Europe around the same time period? Well, here's what happened. Norwegians traveled throughout Europe and were inspired by these gorgeous stone churches they were seeing, but they had never built in stone themselves. So instead they came home and used the materials they were used to, wood. But instead of building a church like their log homes, where the logs are stacked horizontally Horizontally, they turn those logs on its end and use them vertically, and that is called a stave. Two other very interesting features to see here, you see how the little rooftops are in a little triangle with a little cross on top. That was inspired, again, by what they saw throughout the rest of Europe, but way at the top, you see these kind of gargoyle dragon figures. Well, that is a nod to their Nordic heritage and, of course, that wonderful Nordic mythology. You can see the Nordic interpretation of the Gothic gargoyles here. Don't they look like those mythological creatures on the bow of Viking ships? Up at the top, they have these wonderful little, um, uh, are they wooden gargoyles, much like the stone church mm. and the uh, churches in the rest of, of Europe? Yeah, well, here you, you see uh, ornamentation, which is in, uh, in between Christianity and Old Norse rel religions. Oh. Uh, so it's. Uh, Christianity was pretty new when this church was built, so of course they uh, had, they also used dragons and floral motifs. So we've got a combination of pagan religions and Christianity, all in one house of worship. As a Christian church, there are crosses on the rooftops outside and colorful paintings of the saints inside from the 17th century. And there's also some curious inscriptions dating back much further than that. We found runic inscriptions uh, on, on some of the, the staves showing that, well, this church is more than 1,000 years old. Wow, so wh where are these runic uh, inscriptions? Here you can see drawings and, and runic inscriptions. These are made uh, at the time of the building of the church. So these small drawings here are more than 1,000 years old. <laughs> 